morning, Kazuya Yorobun, the back down to official Lamniba. Today we are going to be doing a tamale mukbang. And here it is. And this tamale is actually made with banana leaf, which in Spanish it translates to hoja de platano. Now let's try it. First, what you need to do is actually open it since the leaf isn't actually edible. And this is how it looks like. So you can get a more in depth look. I am going to cut it in half. Now, this is what it looks in the middle. And as you can tell, it's stuffed with different kinds of vegetables, which it has potato and carrot. And now, we are going to try it. This bite I took was actually with the potato in it. And the potato was nicely cooked and everything. It even was cooked to its best point because the tamales were actually steamed and that's how it is traditionally cooked. This bite I got was actually with the carrot, and the carrot is actually nicely cooked, and it even is tender enough to where it actually has a nice flavor, not like a raw carrot, and it is even nice and has a little bit of crunch. And this is how the carrot looks. And then right here is a little piece of tomate. The tomate gives it a nice moist texture, and it just tastes amazing that way. This piece had a mixture of carrot and potato, and when they're put together, especially in this vegetable tamale, it tastes much better. Also, did you know that there are over 300 different types of tamales all over Latin America? Also, every family has its own way of making tamales, so your family, I'm pretty sure, makes it different than my family. Now right here, this piece is mostly of the masa, which translates to dough in English, and it is actually my favorite part of the tamale because it has, to me, a much better flavor. Do you have a favorite part of a tamale? If you do, you should let me know in the comments. There can be sweet, savory, and even spicy types of tamales. And this tamale is actually a savory tamale. This tastes amazing, and I hope, well, at least once in your lifetime, that you will get to try it. Also, an example of a, of a sweet tamale would actually be one that is filled with chocolate, and it is usually eating, eaten for a dessert or for breakfast. Also, 
An example of a spicy tamale would be one filled with a sauce called mole, and it could even have different fillings in it as well. It's sad that I'm at my last bite because this part is the last piece of the masa that is left of this tamale. But I am going to have to eat it because it is amazing. Now, I hope that you will sometime in your life will get a chance to eat a tamale as well. And I hope that you loved this mukbang and had fun watching it as well. So, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. And I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Annyeong!